Hello, I'm Olumide McCauley. Here's a Channel's television evening news recap for September the 1st, 2019. Three soldiers have been killed and eight others injured as troops of Operation Lafia Dole engaged Boko Haram terrorists in Bornu State. In a statement, the spokesperson for the Nigerian Army, Colonel Sagar Musa, said troops engaged the insurgents with heavy volume of fire that led to the death of countless number of the Boko Haram fighters. He added that the wounded soldiers have been taken to hospital for treatment. In Jigawa, 14 people have been confirmed dead in a ghastly motor accident in Ringim local government area. According to the police, eight people died at the scene and nine others were taken to hospital, while six were later confirmed dead, with the others responding to treatment. Meanwhile, President Mohamed Buhari has returned to the country after participating at the 7th Tokyo International Conference on African Development in Yokohama, Japan. The President's aircraft landed at the Namdiazikwe International Airport in Abuja at about 11.37 p.m. on Saturday. On the international scene, at least five people have been killed and many more injured in the U.S. state of Texas. The gunman, who was eventually killed by police at a cinema complex, shot at a policeman as well as numerous motorists and passers-by. The incident comes four weeks after a gunman killed 22 people in the Texan city of El Paso. And in sports, Severton stunned Wolves to a dramatic 3-2 win in the English Premier League match at Goodson Park. Brazil forward Richarlison scored the winner with 10 minutes left to hand the Toffees their second win of the season. And that's the evening news recap. Don't forget to join us tomorrow for fresh updates. I'm Alumde McCauley. Thank you for watching.